We want to get you on the street. We want you to see exactly what these conditions are like. So we're going to go to 7 News reporter Michael Schwartz right now. Michael, tell us where you are, what's going on behind you. We see all those tractor trailers. Yeah, and this has been the real problem this morning. As Ed, you were mentioning on your tweet, you can see here on South Park Avenue in Blaisdell, these tractor trailers are just lined up. I spoke to one FedEx driver. She tells me she's been here for the past 10 hours since 8 p.m. last night. So there is really nowhere to go. We see plows continuing to come in and out. Let's take a look at a few things right now. Okay, the wind gusts, they're calm right now. The sun, actually we're getting a nice sunrise here in Blaisdell. As far as the snow coming down, quiet right now. But what's on the ground is the real problem. It's just suffocating you. The snow is everywhere. As far as consistency, it's a pretty packed snow, but it is uh, fluffier than what we've seen a little north of us. The best way that I can describe what is going on right now is if you took a giant seesaw and lined it up north to south over western New York, it's just going back and forth dumping snow, back and forth. So the northern areas are getting hit the hardest from what we're seeing compared to here, which was a mess yesterday. If you joined us for 7 News at 5 and 6, you saw the mess that was here dumping all of this snow just everywhere. We were getting stuck in our own news vehicles on the road and we had to be careful where we were driving. Abbott Road was clear, but the side streets, a lot of messy conditions over there. We were telling people turn around. So the big thing here right now is to clean up. Mm -hmm. Clean yeah. up, get these drivers out of here. And the big thing is why uh, Erie County Executive Mark Pullen Cars was saying stay off the roads. Well, that's because these cars that don't need to be out there, they're only causing more of a blockage for ambulances, fire trucks mm -hmm. getting to people who are in need. Now, Michael, I, I see some cars driving behind you. You know, from here, it looks as if the road realistically is closed with tractor trailers on either side, but is it passable at all? Yeah, so you, you just, that's a really good question, Ed. So you just kind of saw that uh, plow that just came by here, uh, a front loader really, that just came by here. Uh, the street, you could see the pavement. So yes, it is passable, but you're dealing with uh, intertwining conditions. This is what you're driving through. Right. Uh, tractor trailers here and it just keeps going further and further down so you're really going to have to weave your way this is not a nice casual drive in right. your sunday snow uh, your saturday snow so really uh it, it's it's not ideal at right. all Mike, uh, michael have you been seeing cars them everywhere there's suvs everywhere there's trucks everywhere we're going to step out of our way for a minute because there is a front loader coming by that you could see uh, just behind me down on south park avenue we drove down abbott road to get here and that is pretty clear. Uh, it is a really uh, beautiful, quaint morning when you look at it here. Uh, there's no gusty winds like we saw downtown early this morning at four and five in the morning. Um, but right now, it's what's on the ground that is stopping people in their tracks. Yeah, Michael Schwartz for us live in the Blaisdell area. Michael, thank you very much. Uh, the Erie County executive telling us, or uh, the DPW crews and the emergency services crews telling us that uh, you should not be on the street today. We, that, that's the message, right? right? There's a travel ban in place for the city of Buffalo and many places south of the city, uh, and that's going to continue again until further notice.